Hello Scatterbenchers, today we'll show you how to overclock this notebook in a minimum amount of steps and time. This is the Asus ROG GX700 V0 notebook which comes with water cooling as well as a Core i7-6820HK, a desktop grade GTX 980 graphics card and 64 gigabytes of memory. To do the overclocking we'll be using the ROG Gaming Center application and in there we'll switch up the turbo gear settings. We'll be using four different benchmarks in the operating system to measure the performance. Intel XTU, ROG RealBench, F1 2014, and 3D Mark Firestrike Extreme. This video will be a little bit different than our other Scatterbencher videos because we can't really change that much manually. At stock, without the notebook attached to the water cooling, the CPU runs at 2.7 GHz and boosts up to 3.6 GHz. The graphics card is clocked at 1189 MHz with the memory clocked at 2.5 GHz. The stock performance in XTU is 1079 points. In Firestrike Extreme it's 4790. In F1 2014 the minimum FPS is 59 and RealBench score is 84094 points. The temperature of the CPU was about 82 degrees centigrade and the temperature of the GPU was about 60 degrees centigrade. Now we'll move forward and plug the notebook onto the water cooling system. Now that we've docked the notebook onto the water cooling system, we go into the ROG Gaming Center and check the turbo gear settings. We notice that the setting went up from standard to extreme. We notice that the CPU frequency increased to 4 GHz and the GPU frequency increased to 1227 MHz and the GPU memory frequency to 3.5 GHz. Once again we check the benchmark results. In XTU our score goes up to 1148 points which is about 6%. In Firestrike Extreme our score goes up to 5683 points which is an increase of 20%. In F1 2014 our minimum frames per second is now 70 which again is a percentage increase of 20%. In RealBench, the performance goes up a mere 2%. Thanks to the water cooling, our CPU temperature decreased to 56 degrees centigrade and the GPU temperature decreased to 40 degrees centigrade. As a final step of our overclocking adventure, we'll switch to manual mode. We increase the CPU frequency to 4 GHz. We increase the CPU cache frequency to 4 GHz. We enable XMP. And then we also increase the GPU core frequency by 200 MHz, as well as the GPU memory frequency by 300 MHz as well. In a final round of benchmarking, we see that the XTU performance has gone up to 1,271 points, which is 18% over stock performance. In Firestrike Extreme, we see that our performance went up to 6,665 points, which is almost 40% over stock performance. This is thanks to the 1,427 MHz GPU frequency and 3.8 GHz memory frequency. In F1 2014, our minimum FPS has gone up to 71 points, which is 20% over stock performance. And in ROG RealBench, we now have a score of 103,741 points, 23% over stock. The CPU temperature under load is 83 degrees centigrade, and the GPU temperature under load is only 41 degrees centigrade. That was it for this video. If you want to learn more about overclocking, go and check out the other videos at Scatterbencher. We'll be back soon with more uh, overclocking content. Don't forget to subscribe, ask any question you want below the video and we'll try to answer it. Until the next time, thanks for watching.